Hey everybody and welcome back to another vlog. So today I am casually just sitting in front of a window doing my makeup. This is not normal. Um, but, you know, something different. So today there's a few things that I want to do. It's been all over the internet for a while now, this little DIY project that people are doing. And they're pretty much painting like old pots and stuff with a, um, a mixture of paint and baking soda and then it kind of makes like a pottery style finish and apparently you can do that to anything. So I really want to test that out on a kind of like jug vase thing that I have. It's not totally my style anymore but I want to revamp it. And I think it'll be really interesting to see how it turns out. Um, I'm not sure yet what color I want to do it. If I'm going to do it like a terracotta kind of color or more of a beige. I'm not sure yet. So that's on our fun list of to do today. Um, another thing is that we are looking at some used random house pieces that we found online on eBay and there's this really cute um, kind of like little tiny rattan arch shelf like a little tiny wall shelf that we're picking up today and oh, I think it's gonna be so cute I'm gonna put it in the bathroom I think it'd be nice it's it doesn't say the dimensions on it so I don't know how big it's gonna be but I think it'll be really cute just to like add some decor you know put some nice soaps on it mm, I don't know maybe it'll be big enough to put like an extra hand towel it's amazing though when you do your makeup in front of a window it's like such good light <laughs> so I'm really working on decorating our flat making it look nice and I think I really want to see what's out there in like the secondhand market before I buy anything new and even before that see what I can make from things that we already have before we even go and get secondhand things so that's kind of where this um, base vase thing is coming from. We'll just hide this little bit of acne. Acne's normal. Everybody has it. Let's normalize it. I think especially now in this time, like, oh, <laughs> I think everybody's stressed out a bit. So usually I only wear like a little bit of concealer. I. I never like wearing foundation except really if I'm filming like a sit down video then maybe I'll put foundation on but I'll be honest that's literally just to use it up like I don't like wearing it it makes my skin look worse than it already is but I have two foundations honestly they're the only two foundations I've ever owned in my life one of them is a little bit of a lighter shade so I'm trying to use that up in the winter time and then the other one is a darker shade I like a tiny bit darker because it was in the summer that was the foundation I got for my wedding and <sighs> I kind of just wish I would have borrowed like my sister's foundation for that day honestly I think it was nice yeah but haven't used it since this is definitely more of a realistic amount of makeup that I wear, not even every day. Probably wear makeup how many times a day? How many times? I can't talk right now. How many days out of the week do I wear makeup? Probably three times a week, maybe. That's a little concentrated. <laughs> okay, when I step back a little bit out of the light, it looks more normal. Just blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Now let's add a little bit of highlight. Also some updates with my garden that my imaginary garden that hasn't even begun yet, but I want. We, we might have some troubles with it because I'm like imagining this really big, amazing garden. But the problem is, is we don't know if our balcony is suitable for that amount of weight. So we might look at alternatives to see if there's like a community garden in the area where we can have like most of our things and then 
just kind of make the balcony that we have more for like a lounge area, still some like everyday vegetables. We want to grow lots of salad and tomatoes and one thing that's really interesting is in Germany you usually have to cover your tomatoes because if it rains on your tomatoes then there's this kind of fungus or something that will kind of infest the tomato plant and then you'll get lots of dead leaves and bad fruit so lots of people I know say to like build a little shelter over top of it so it's still getting the sunlight but it's covered from the rain and then you're only supposed to water it from the root so that's the type of thing that we would still have on our balcony and obviously like lots of flowers and stuff and still like easy vegetables that we would eat on a more daily basis. But if we were able to grow at a community garden, it would actually be really cool because I think there'd be a lot of things that we're just not able to grow here that we could try and grow there. And that would be really fun. But that's definitely something that we still have to look into. But I think the only disappointing thing in that is because our balcony is actually huge. Like, it's a huge balcony. It's It runs the entire length of our flat. And then I would say it's about two meters wide, maybe. Um, but there's so much space on it that we could use for growing. And, you know, we already had, like, a designated space for, like, an outdoor sofa and some chairs some or something, maybe like a barbecue. And then we would have this whole other part of the balcony just for like a garden. And the question is now, how do I fill up the whole balcony, make it look really nice while not making it too heavy? And I am taking this quite seriously that we don't want to like exceed the weight limit of the balcony because I have this crazy fear that I'm going to be on a balcony and it's going to fall down and I'm just going to die because of standing on this balcony that falls. That's like a fear of mine. <laughs> when me and my husband went to Italy, it was crazy because we saw some of these like balconies. They weren't like it didn't look like they were supported at all. Like it looked like if you put anything on that, it would just fall and you would just fall to your demise. And that was frightening to think of. So let's get into the video. Let's check out this painting method. Okay, so I've collected all of the things that I'll be needing. This is the pot that I'm gonna be repainting. I love the shape of it. I think I bought it because of the shape. I didn't really like the black on the bottom, especially with this tone of green. So I'm going to be mixing together these two colors of paint. I don't, I'm just gonna have to play with it to find the tone that I like. I don't know if I want it more brown or more beigey cream colored. So, it might take a few tries to get it to the color that I like. <laughs> These are from like a really, really old paint set that my husband had. I think they're from when he was a child, probably. And then I'm just mixing it with this baking soda.
Okay, wow. I have been mixing this for a very long time. I think I've gotten it to a color I like. It's a little pink. I mean, I don't mind. I don't know what my husband will think of it, having a pink pot, but this is my project. <laughs> One thing that I'm not really sure is how the consistency should be. It's thick. It's real thick. As soon as I added some of the baking soda. I wonder if I added like way too much. I don't know. But I think I'll be able to put it on quite thin onto the pot. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna try it out. Let's <laughs> let's start. Mm. That's a really nice color. I like it. All right, it's been a day. These have been able to dry and I'm actually really surprised at how well they turned out. This was the original jug that I did and then I also did just a normal wine bottle because I had so much paint. So all in all, this was a really great success. Even my husband was saying that he was surprised how well it turned out. He really likes them as well. So that's great yeah and then the grass that i found i actually just found it outside and forged it and it's dried really nice and looks really pretty so i think it's a really great addition to my little office space that i have here and then this is the little shelf that we got on ebay and it looks super cute i'm really excited we aren't totally sure yet where we're gonna put it, but I'm excited for wherever it ends up going. So that's all I have for my video this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and look forward to my next video coming out this Saturday. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!